Is an only child a lonely child? This month in Modern Family, child psychologist Dr. Ethan Stevens answers a question from Andrea Gonzalez, who writes, Dear Dr. Stevens, my husband and I are facing a dilemma, namely the issue of whether to have a second child. We already have one healthy, happy five-year-old son. Both of us have demanding jobs and limited time and financial resources, but we also want to make sure that our only child does not become a lonely child. What are the pros and cons of having a second child? Dear Andrea, This is one of the most difficult issues that parents nowadays face. As you point out, a concern that is often heard with regard to only children is whether one child necessarily means a lonely child. Many parents feel a stigma associated with their decision to have only one child, fearing they are seen as thinking only about themselves, as opposed to about their child's well-being. There are no other children in the family for the child to associate with, which may lead to the child feeling lonely, especially if both parents are working. Another common argument against having just one child is that an only child may be more spoiled than one with siblings. Many people believe that a single child will not have learned to negotiate with others or respect the give and take involved in many relationships. Some think this may leave the child less capable of interacting well with people his or her own age than one who has been raised with siblings. Your son is not alone in being an only child. There's an increasing trend for choosing to have only one child for the very same reasons you listed. In South Korea, for example, the percentage of families with only one child is higher than ever. This follows a general trend in Asia where in many countries, including Japan, China, Singapore, and Thailand, couples are having, on average, fewer than two children. Advocates of single-child families argue that there are advantages for the child as well as the parents. With just one child, they suggest, there is less potential for family arguments arising from sibling jealousy or parents favoring one child over the other. Moreover, with only one child, the parents can afford to give more quality time and attention. This often leads to increased self-esteem, which, combined with increased independence, can lead to the child being more confident. There are a number of ways that parents can help to ensure that their only child doesn't get lonely. Here are some suggestions for parenting an only child. Let them be social. Children need friends their age, and playing in a group encourages skills like sharing, teamwork, and patience. Find ways for your child to socialize, such as playgroups, sports, or summer camp. Welcome Challenges Only children learn to do many things for themselves, though they will need your help for some things. Encourage your child to challenge himself by solving problems independently. Alone time is okay, too. As much as you want to help your child interact well with others, don't worry too much about a child who is content to keep to himself. Time spent alone contributes to personality development and decision-making skills. Unfortunately, Andrea, there is no simple answer to the question of whether or not to have a second child. The circumstances affecting each set of parents are unique. I always believe what is appropriate for one family may not be for another. The important thing in the end is to make a decision that both you and your husband feel confident about. Changing Roles – The Rise of Stay-at-Home Dads As little as 50 years ago, 
Few people in the U.S. questioned the gender roles that had been in place for centuries. Many people assumed that a woman's place was in the home, and that a man's main responsibility to his family was to put food on the table. In the 1970s and 80s, however, greater numbers of working women meant that men were no longer the sole breadwinners. A father's involvement with his family also became more important. Even so, back then, almost no husbands were stay-at-home dads. Today, with more career opportunities than ever available to women, the stay-at-home dad trend is on the rise. A family with a full-time dad has many benefits. If the wife is a career woman, her husband can take some family responsibilities off her shoulders, thereby allowing her to compete more successfully in the workplace. The men share in the joy of participating in their children's day-to-day -day experiences. Differences in parenting styles between men and women are also believed to contribute to children's well-being. Studies suggest that a strong paternal presence encourages greater curiosity, higher self-esteem, and better emotional balance in the child. Societies with strong family units also report lower juvenile crime rates and lower rates of teen pregnancy. Robert Frank a professor of child development at Oakton Community College in the U.S., notes that working mothers aren't necessarily absent from the home. Many women form a close relationship with their kids regardless. In response to the recent increase in stay-at-home dads, new resources are becoming available. Playgroups are being planned for dads and their children. When Ryan Warren said that he felt out of place in groups that often consisted of all moms, his wife found a local group that hosted events for dads like Ryan and their children. My daughter could play with other kids her age, and I could hang out with other fathers going through the same experience, says Ryan. In the group, we talk about the traditional guy things, sports, tools, cars. Moving from a professional career to becoming an at-home parent is another challenge for these modern dads. But some men are finding ways to stay active with their career goals while parenting at home. Dad and blogger Hunter Montgomery is a great example of a father who balances home life with career aspirations. I was a full-time stay-at-home dad, but I didn't plan it that way, says Hunter. My intention was to continue work as a mortgage loan officer from home. It's the type of work you can easily do remotely. Hunter's wife, Christy, has a career in the U.S. Navy that sometimes requires the family to relocate. When Hunter and Christy had their first child, they already knew that they would have to move within a year. To help with the transition, Hunter left his job to become a stay-at-home dad. Hunter was always interested in personal finances and, being home to watch the kids, he studied part-time to complete a master's degree in family financial planning. Hunter started a blog, Financially Consumed, as a way to stay active in his career by sharing tips and experiences with others. Despite many challenges, Hunter says he has found a way to balance both priorities of his family and his career. All three of our kids are in school, and I have some time each day to pursue my interests, says Hunter. I'm loving it. It's safe to say that the stay-at-home dad is here to stay. As more and more dads find new ways to stay active socially and in their careers while parenting, they contribute immensely to the flexibility of the father's role in the modern family.